A common problem in the shoulder is arthritis, where the ball and socket of the shoulder joint wear the cartilage down to where you can be bone on bone, which is you know, arthritic changes in the shoulder joint, which leads to pain, limited motion, limited function, pain at night. It's also very common with that. When a patient has shoulder arthritis and also has a rotator cuff deficiency or has a rotator cuff tear or shoulder instability, when uh, conservative treatment fails, the replacement option of choice is a, called a reverse total shoulder. What that means is we reverse the, the axis of rotation by changing where the ball and socket go in the shoulder. Reverse total shoulder replacement is a two to three inch incision on the front of the shoulder. It takes about an hour. We uh, remove the arthritic ball and, and socket surfaces inside the shoulder and then put a new ball on the shoulder blade side and cup on the humerus side to replace the joint surfaces and, and add that stability from the implants. And, and then any rotator cuff that is still intact, we, you know, we preserve or repair around those implants. The recovery is, takes about six weeks to let everything heal. And so early on therapy is just some controlled range of motion and simple daily activities. And then six weeks on is more active motion, strengthening and progression back into more uh, daily activities and higher end activities like yard work and, and housework, recreational type activities. Most patients get back to functional range of motion and, and functional daily activities. So what you give up with the reverse is a little bit of end range of motion that you didn't have to start with before surgery anyway, but you gain all of that functional range of motion back with the rehab you do after surgery being the goal.